Is it a sh sword or a shield? Indiana's Religious Freedom Restoration Act is being called both. Proponents say it protects religious beliefs, while opponents say it discriminates against gays and lesbians. Either way, it's red meat for the press. This bill is not about discrimination. At issue is whether Indiana's so-named Religious Freedom Restoration Act enables employers or even individual workers to discriminate against gays and lesbians based on their own religious beliefs. Disgust. Disgust that I live in Indiana where this is happening. Sweeping aside the legal question, the media covered it as a political hot potato as evidenced by the grilling ABC's George Stephanopoulos gave Indiana Governor Mike Pence. Yes or no, if a florist in Indiana refuses to serve a gay couple uh, at their wedding, is that legal now in Indiana? The law has also become a target for comedians. You'll be able to tell which stores are supporting the new law because they'll have these helpful little signs. In a rare move, the Indianapolis Star printed a front-page editorial demanding that Indiana Governor Mike Pence fix this now, calling for a new and separate law prohibiting discrimination on the basis of a person's sexual orientation. A day later, Governor Pence relented. We've got a perception problem here, and we intend to correct that. Meanwhile, the NCAA's Final Four is taking place in Indiana this weekend, with some coaches boycotting the event, including UConn's Kevin Ollie. Then again, his team didn't make the playoffs, making that an easy call. <laughs> All right, so Dan, you wrote about this extensively this week, and your basic point is well, we got so much into the politicalization of this thing that no one was really looking at the law itself. I mean, it's one of those things that makes perfect fodder for the cable shows, for the morning shows, and uh, there was a lot of battering of governors around uh, the state, uh, around the country going on. Well, th th this illustrated something that drives me crazy about a lot of media coverage and that is there's a knee-jerk tendency to immediately go to the political story mm -hmm. um, you, you know what do we is this a problem for Republicans will Democrats yeah. take advantage of it <laughs> uh, Governor Pence may harbor presidential ambitions what does this do for him mm -hmm. and there's been very little attempt at least on a day-to-day -day basis to try to explain exactly what this law would do I mean you continue to have Governor Pence saying over and over this would not describe discriminate. Why is he saying that? Is there something behind it? I will say that there have been some good attempts to get at this. There was a very long analysis in Vox earlier this week that, that went into it at some length. And frankly, maybe the reason that the media has stayed away from this is that it's, it's a little hard to tell <laughs> exactly. what the effect would be. Yeah. But that's the mm. most important yeah. part of the story. Well, I have to say that Morning Joe has discussed this thoroughly and explained mm -hmm. to me quite clearly what the issue was, which is that there are some states that have underlying legisla legislation which already is anti-discriminatory. And so in those states, you didn't have to worry about it because th this kind of bill mm -hmm. could not have the, the impact that some thought it would have in terms of discrimination. That was made clear to me because mm -hmm. I watched the show every day and they discussed it ad nauseum, I would say. But there you go. But here's the thing. There is a political overtone to this that, that has nothing to do with just the very simple Republicans and Democrats. It has to do with the, with the case that is coming before the Supreme Court that everybody believes the Supreme Court is going to say, same-sex marriage, okay. Mm -hmm. And if that is the case, then states, therefore, are politically mm -hmm. making an effort now to try to get around that. Well, that is political. So it is part of the story. It's a political story, mm -hmm. and it's very well a legislative story. You're right that we didn't do, for the most part, a good job in discussing the legislative part, but it's very much a political good story point. as well. Yeah. What did you guys think about the uh, that what was the Indianapolis Star, Star front yeah. page yeah. editorial? Fix this, uh, fix this now. I actually will go on record as saying that I, I like that. I mean, I think if you think back to say the civil rights era uh, struggles over you know um, civil rights for African Americans, that now if anyone took that kind of activist stance and we look back on it, it's going to look like a profile in courage. So I think that you know 20 years from now. That'll look like a you know historical you front so? page. I do. Yeah. I'm with Adam again. Really? Love it. Love it. <laughs> Pro Olympics, con anti Olympics. We're, we're again on. Or the or you know generous <laughs> and skeptical. Whatever. Yeah. Exactly. Um, but yeah, I I mean I'm biased. I, I write a column. I'm, I'm a, and a, mm. you know I express an opinion for a living. And um, I think that if you want to make a statement, you know you make an even louder statement yeah. if you put an opinion on the front page. And and look, it it created change. I mean yep. it, um, it worked. It worked. That exactly. was singularly responsible. Exactly. The only thing that makes me a little nervous is that 
the media seems to speak with one voice on these issues. I mean, it's, I agree with Kelly. We, we, we've crossed that line. I mean, you know, gay marriage is going to be legal, but it speaks to sort of the, the liberal attitude, and, and, and that's the only thing that made me a, a little bit uneasy about it. On some issues, there's only one no, right voice true. to speak that's with. True. You know? I mean, I would just say that to the extent that putting an editorial on the front page is an issue, I think that in the modern media environment, it's so hard to be heard above the din that you kind of have to make a statement like that just just to just to separate yourself from the noise. Now, what, and, I, and I would just say I I I appreciated being on the front page, but we must also make it clear to people this is an opinion. We've moved it to the front mm -hmm. page because we are trying to make a bigger statement. That's the only thing. Just so nobody's confused about that's not well, you know that this is from the editorial. Okay, page. so on that point, mm -hmm. the Arkansas Gazette was re they're, they're going through the same thing. Yeah, and they're, they're trying. And they've got some issues with their law too, but. The newspaper did everything it could to avoid using their, it's almost similar to the, say they, they go HB 1228 mm -hmm. instead of the Religious Freedom Restoration Act. I think their, their name is slightly different, but th they felt like that was a political name of, of a bill. Oh, I mean, we, we've exactly. got that problem here, you know, yeah. Megan's, we have all these cute laws and, yeah. you know, so they, you know, but so the, in order to get around with it, they were using then the number of the Then you get parenthetical bill. and let it go. If you're not, I mean, come on. I mean, that, I, I, I disagree with that totally. I think you use what, it, it, in order to make people be clearer about what the heck you're talking about, here's what we're talking about. And the bill, yeah. the formal bill's name is this, though. Yeah. So you do both. Wait, so you, you know. I'm unclear. You thought they should have used the, the I think they should name have. given by the sponsors yeah. in Arkansas? Yes, I think they should have done both. I, you know, so yeah. this is what we're talking about because there's, We've just talked about mm -hmm. how confusing it is for people. So when we're, but it is H bill, whatever the. Heck I mean, it they're was. expressing you know. an opinion by yes. not using yeah, the exactly. proper name. Right. I mean, I think you can ex easily explain away, you know, the, the well, name. Well, putting it in quotes. Yeah, that, that's fine. Quotes? I'm or, just saying, do both, so, yeah. so that you right. know, so you're you're clear about what you're talking are, about. Are, yeah. are you opposed to the religious freedom God and apple pie bill? <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but but I mean, if that's the name of it, you name it and yeah. you explain it. Yeah. I don't. But see then there that are that's things that move into the lexicon. Remember when we. Had that bill that only but people only knew it as the bathroom bill, which was the transgender. Everybody should right. be able to use the same bathrooms. I mean, but the opponents named it that because it, right. it made it sound like, oh my God, somebody's going to be invading using my bathroom. But the yeah. bathroom <laughs> bill was not its formal name. No, I know, <laughs> but nobody here could tell you what it was. Right. Yeah, you're right. Yes. I actually, totally. Yes. Could. No one. Yeah. Did. Yeah. yeah.